McDonald's has Burger King, Coke has Pepsi, and Lamborghini has Ferrari. Alternatives are almost everywhere, so if you don't like something, there's bound to be a similar product out there that you do like. It's just the nature of consumerism. For fans of football video games, however, alternatives have been pretty hard to come by in recent years. At one point in time, there were upwards of five officially licensed NFL games available in a given year. The same goes for college games. Unfortunately, that's just no longer the case. Fans are given extremely limited options from the main AAA publishers and have to hope that smaller studios deliver that alternative for them. Enter Axis Football. With the series now over five years old, Axis Games has been working to give players a fun, deep football game that they can sink their teeth into. It's time to find out if Axis Football 19 is a game that's finally ready for primetime. The piece de resistance of Axis Football 19 is the game's franchise mode. Advertised as one of if not the deepest franchise mode in football gaming, it's really hard to argue that point based on what's available. First, there's the ability to hire and fire an entire coaching staff. From position coaches to coordinators, your staff can truly be made up of the type of people that you'd like. If you want coordinators that focus on smart, disciplined football, you can find them. What about a staff that's really good at developing young players? You can have that too. It's unheard of in a football game to have a coaching tree this deep, and Axis Football 19 does it perfectly. Now, in my opinion, one of the best features of the franchise mode returns this year, and that's the tiered leagues. Unlike other football games and leagues, Axis Football 19 features league relegation much like how you'd see in various soccer leagues worldwide. You start out at the lowest tier and have to build a team and work to become the best team in the world by building the best staff and roster you can. Drafting has received one of the biggest overhauls within the mode, as added this year draft guides, team needs, prospect versus roster comparisons, areas of improvement, and more. It takes one of the more fun aspects of real world football and makes it just as enjoyable within the game. For free agency, while there really isn't any sort of logic when it comes to players deciding to sign with your team versus others, there is one thing that Axis 19 does that even Madden doesn't get right, in-season free agent signings. Rather than automatically signing free agents to one-year deals, you can offer players fully negotiated contracts outside of the usual off-season free agent period. It's a small thing, but still a nice touch to have in an indie title. But despite the greatness within the mode, there are things that franchise mode doesn't have that it could really use to put it over the top. Trading still restricts you to just two team deals, but you can trade picks to up to three years in the future. One thing that stood out with the trading is that it seems that almost every team needs a punter as if they're the most important players on a given roster. Also omitted from the mode is historical player stat tracking, meaning that when a new year starts, you can't go back and revisit how players did in a prior season. It's disappointing to see, especially when prior performances should matter in terms of free agents and trade targets throughout a career. Now as far as other modes go, there aren't really any. You can play games against the CPU, against a friend locally, or even watch games, but that's about it. There are no other true modes in Axis Football 19, but to be honest, that's perfectly okay for a small title like this with as deep of a main mode and franchise as it offers. Gameplay-wise, Axis Football 19 feels much of the same, and that's where it really disappoints. If I can sum it up in a word, it'd be stiff. Players have a bit more flow than in the past while running, but it still comes off as a bit too robotic, and the tackling feels clunky while on-field action makes little sense far too often for my liking. It's rare to see a receiver make a catch in stride as most just stop on a dime when the ball gets to him. It's better than, say, Axis 17, but nowhere near where it should be at this point. On top of that, running allows just too much of that Madden 04 cut on a dime play style. You know that style where you can just stop with no momentum and change directions without any issues? Receiver. Scramble. Yeah, that's the one. On defense, it's still pretty tough to get a feel for anything. Covering passes manually is almost impossible, and it feels like you're at the mercy of the game as to whether a pass is completed. Defensive line play? Well, that's lackluster to say the least. They give you power and finesse controls when engaged with blocking, but you can tap X and B over and over on the line and see nothing happen. It's as if that ability just isn't actually there. There are penalties in the game, but they're pretty inconsistent. I've hit an offensive lineman and made him move, yet nothing was called on me, and I've also jumped offside, got back in time before the snap, and was still flagged. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm Dave Stevens along with my partner Mike Steele. Axis Football 19's presentation is a pretty mixed bag. 
The user interface is incredibly crisp and responsive, and despite so much to offer and do in the menus, especially within franchise mode, nothing really feels that hard to find. Placements make sense, loading times are quick, and all of the in-game overlays and bugs look like what you'd see on a TV broadcast on a network like Fox. Where the presentation falters is with the audio. Terry McGovern is back again as the voice of the game as Dave Stevens alongside his analyst Mike Steele. While McGovern's calls are solid at times, audio splicing damages a lot of what could be really good. Hearing drastically different inflections in the same sentence kills that sense of reality you get from a sports game broadcast. And he's brought down after a return of 15. It's nice that the commentary's there, but it needs some fine-tuning before it doesn't become something you mute after just a game or two. After years of going in the right direction, Axis Football 19 just feels like much of the same. Franchise mode is, without question, one of the deepest modes in sports gaming, but that's the only part of the game that really stands out in a positive way. The gameplay feels off and the presentation just doesn't flow. If this was a management sim game the likes of an out of the park or football manager, then it would be pretty damn great. However, that's not how the game's build. It's build as a standard football sim with management elements. Axis Football as a franchise has so much potential to be a great indie series, but with so limited on-field changes between 18 and 19, it feels more like a lost year than anything else. For more Axis 19 and sports gaming content daily, be sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online and hit that bell to be notified whenever a new video goes live. If you like what we do here and you want to help spread the word, be sure to leave a like on this video and share it on social media. You can also join the conversation with us on Twitter, at SportsGamersOn, and by visiting SportsGamersOnline.com.